finish the race well. Hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Jesus finished the race. Jesus endured the shame, the scorn, the pain, and the suffering of the cross. Did he have temptation to give up while he was going through all this? Most definitely. Matthew chapter 26 tells us that in the garden of Gethsemane, the prayers of Jesus were such. He said, Father, if it be your will, please take this cup away from me. But yet not my will, but your will be done. Jesus too was tempted to give up when the pressure was too much for him to take. But he depended on God. He gave himself to God. He gave uh, his will to God's will and he stuck it out. He stayed in the race. Most importantly, he finished the race. While it's important to start things, while it's important to start on our journey uh, of fulfilling God's purpose for our lives, it's important to stay with the journey and of course, to finish the journey. Finishing the race and finishing the race well is equally important. And when we finish the race well, we receive a reward. What was Jesus' reward? Yes, of course, he, he, uh, uh, he did what he wanted to do for mankind. And secondly, he was given his position uh, of glory once again with, with the Father in heaven. And he was seated uh, at the right hand of God. So Jesus received uh, a reward after he completed his assignment. Many a time for us, just being able to complete the race, just being able to finish what we have started is victory. Let us be those who trust God and say to ourselves, he who began a good work in me will be faithful to complete it. Finish the race and finish it well. Let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you for this life. Lord, we thank you for um, choosing us, O God, to run this race of life, Father, to worship you and bring glory to your name. God, this day we pray uh, that God, you would speak by your spirit, Lord, into the hearts and lives of people. That God, uh, each one of us, Lord, uh, will have uh, that that spirit uh, of Caleb, Lord, who will hold on, God, till the end, who will keep looking at the promise, the fulfillment of the promise, who will wait for the reward. And God, that we will finish well, O God. That, Lord, we will receive, God, all that you have to offer, your strength, Lord, your grace, O God. Father, uh, the flow of your spirit, your creativity, every ability, uh, wisdom, knowledge from you, God. And that, Father, we will keep in the race and that we will finish well. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for doing this in our lives. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.